Well, I, you know, I question, uh, as I said from time to time, is their role irrelevant? I think you look at Bosnia, if we question that, I think overall, uh, obviously, they have a, uh, a, a dominant role to play if we look down 5, 10, 15 years. But now most of the focus has been on Bosnia. And we have a willing force with NATO, but an unwilling uh, force, as far as I'm concerned, with the United Nations. So they pass these resolutions in, in New York. United Nations, uh, everybody gets on board and says, we ought to do this and ought to do this, and then somebody on the ground, whether it's Rose or Akashi, say, oh, we're not going to do this. And I must say, it, it, it's very puzzling to those of us in Congress and both parties. Uh, Sorry, we have to press on. We'll do this. We have another interview. We're, let's do it. Mr. Dole is a veteran. He knows about NATO, and he knows that NATO is the bedrock of our defense. It's never been a test of NATO whether NATO can solve a civil war in a country outside its frontiers. We all want to do what we can in Bosnia. We, we British, Canadians, French, on the grounds, are doing what we can. Uh, but it, it's an illusion to suppose that you can use NATO air power to bomb the Bosnian Serbs uh, into the negotiating table. Mr. Hurd, do you agree that his comments were by someone else? But I am prepared for the debate that will certainly come in January and February in the United States Congress to lift the arms embargo. It's going to happen. Uh, the vote's been very close. It will happen again. The President of the United States then will have to make a decision. So you believe in a military I use this opportunity to express dissatisfaction with the contact group because when we accepted the plan, we have been told that the safe zone will be enlarged and better protected. The humanitarian aid will be timely delivered. Strangulation of Sarajevo will be prohibited. Sanctions on those who are responsible for aggression tightened. And Today at 15.40 local time on the 29th of November 1994, a shell is landing on the town of Bihać every six seconds. Shells are landing in the hospital compound. One shell landed immediately by the armored vehicle. That's one of the two armored vehicles of the Bangladeshi UN peacekeeping troops that are stationed behind the hospital facing the center of the town. And that